The Earth is the only planet where life dwells. It is a pristine and wonderful place where life in different forms live and interact with each other. But adorned with its adverse beauty and majesty, there also comes tragedy. Earthquakes, one of Mother Nature's way of showing her wrath, an unstoppable force that has existed ever since before the beginning of the first civilization, an event by which shaped the face of the ever-changing Earth. Though mysterious as it may seem, earthquakes are one of the most dangerous and potentially deadly natural calamities. It is characterized by the abrupt shaking of the ground which contributes to the loss of life and property. There are many speculations revolving around how earthquakes came to be. According to the mythology of the ancient Greeks, Poseidon himself is a cause of earthquakes. When infuriated, Poseidon creates violent shockwaves underneath the sea, also affects the land. According to the Japanese mythologies, there are giant species of catfishes underneath the ground. When awakened from their slumber, flails around vigorously, creating violent shocks, also known as earthquakes. It is very important to know what is an earthquake, but it is also equally important to know the origin of it. Earthquakes are the result of plate tectonics. As you may see, the solid structure of the Earth, believe it or not, Underneath it is a molten layer called magma, and because of it being in a semi-liquid form, the crust above is constantly moving and may cause updrop privation called earthquakes. The tectonic plates move in three different styles, the convergent, divergent, and transform boundary. Convergent boundary occurs where two plates are pushing toward each other. Divergent boundary marks two plates that are moving apart from each other. Transform boundary occurs where two plates slide past each other. It is critical to be ready for an emergency. For example, one must have unprepared food stocks, first aid kit, and emergency lights. In an unlikely event of an earthquake, the most important thing to do is not panic. Find the nearest and most sturdy object in your house and take cover there. If you can't find any, Take cover in the edge of the house or its foundation. Avoid hazardous objects that may fall on you. Furthermore, after the brutal shock, remain vigilant. Be very cautious for after an earthquake, there might be following aftershocks. Avoid dilapidated structures to decrease the risk of injury. Listen to updates and immediately contact the officials in cases of emergency. Proper action in the events of tragedy is the most important in order to avoid injury and casualty. So, kung ganyan ang uyog-uyog ang balay, nag-a-kapyot po isa ang kwan sa mga malapot yung kapyotan. So, anywhere here, may namin ang lino na nasyagin po eh kay kapyot sa lino tayo. At aso na kung baan po kay base sa ang mga balay na ang balay mag-alap sa ba? Thank you. 
nakakabulba ako sa may lito ng pinakakabulba. Oh. Oh, kisaan, kinagpaglino. Uh, naglakad kami sa may pinakakabulba na yun. Kaya may ibase na yung mga siya ang mamatay na yung hirin. May kaso, ano siya dito na kami, naging niya kami sa kwan. Ang mga nakapaligan. Ang mga nakapaligan kami naging niya. Kaso naman ko, ah, 